Text us this Tuesday for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Seniors not taking a retest need to be here Tuesday at 9 a.m. for the fit gram. Dress appropriately. Meanwhile, those taking tax should remember to bring two sharpened number two pencils. You can bring a book to read for when you're done with the test. No electronic devices. Arrive by 7.55 a.m. so you can be ready for testing at 8.05. Leave your cell phone at home if possible. Lunch will be eaten in the classroom. Either bring your own or purchase a sack lunch. Be sure to get plenty of rest the night before. Room assignments will be posted in the cafeteria and the front office. When doing the open-ended portion of the test, be sure to leave your answer booklet all the way open, not folded over. That way you'll avoid accidentally making errant bubble marks on your answer sheet. Tax time is almost here, so let's get her done. Good morning, Pirates. It's Wednesday, February 23rd. Attention juniors and seniors. The ACT will be given on April 9th. The deadline to sign up is March 4th. Go to www.sat.collegeboard.org to register and get more info. Seniors, now's the time to start filling out the free application for federal financial aid. Seniors should do this online at www.fafsa.ed.gov. This is the first step to qualifying for financial aid. Don't delay, and remember, the application is free. If you are asked to pay a fee to submit the application, you are on the wrong website. Student Council will be collecting and recycling ink cartridges. There will be drop-off boxes in all the workrooms throughout the rest of the school year. Teachers especially, please help us in our recycling endeavors. Congratulations to the Crandall Boys baseball team. They won 10-0 against Quinlan Ford. Ricky Lopez opened the season up by throwing a no-hitter. Next up, Prosper Tournament this Thursday. Good luck, guys. Crandall Speech and Debate competed in the National Qualifying Tournament with the following results. Zach Wesley placed first in domestic speaking and qualifies for nationals in Dallas for the third year in a row. Dylan Roberts placed first in domestic speaking and will serve as the alternate. TJ Spencer and Samson will serve as an alternate in public forum debate. And Garrett Wesley will be the tournament alternate in congressional debate. There will be a trash bash pickup this Saturday from 8 a.m. to finish. Mr. Trammell and Mrs. Jewett will be offering extra credit for your participation. Boys basketball playoff game is this Friday. We play Spring Hill at Lindale. Come out and support your Pirates. FCA will meet Friday in the gym at 7.15. Come for donuts and fellowship and bring a friend. The NHS is sponsoring a book drive. Books will be donated to elementary classrooms. You can bring new or used books that are appropriate for students in grades K-6. Books will be collected in the second period classes. The book drive will begin March 1st and end March 11th. Brandon, swag so hard, Johnson. <laughs> I'm Katie. Have, Have a, a swag-tastic swag Wednesday. Wednesday. This past weekend, the boys' powerlifting team competed in the district meet. The JV finished second in the district, and the varsity finished third. Here are the following names and how they placed. Congratulations. Taylor Gonzalez finished first, Brandon Mobley fifth, Michael Linger third, Andrew Newton second, Riley Mendez fourth, Juan Guzman second, Nathan Blunt fourth, Ethan Sinclair third, and Dylan O'Neill second. Austin McKenzie second, Trevor Dykema fourth, James West second, Jason Bryant third, Anthony Offord fifth, Dylan Collard second, Devin Burris second, Dylan Morrison second, Justin Tennyson fourth, and Andre McKissick fourth. Parents and friends of Crandall FFA are having a steak dinner Saturday, February 26th. It's only $10 for the dinner and it starts at 5.30. There's lots of cool stuff in the auction and bidding starts at 7. You can bid on all sorts of items ranging from trees to a haircut. A night in a hotel, a mini fridge, and a homemade quilt. A fire pit, pies, cakes, and a whole lot more. And there's a raffle for a 32-inch flat screen TV. Just a dollar a ticket and six for five dollars. All proceeds will go towards the purchase of animals for FFA students to show at the Junior Livestock Show in April. Mmm, tasty animals. Be here Saturday night and help out the Crandall FFA. Hey, Ricky. Uh, Hi, Caleb. 
I'm in love with you. But I thought you were in love with Jacqueline. <sighs> I was just using her to get close to you. I'd hoped that was what you were doing. I knew it. <sighs> Ricky, wrong hand. <laughs> will you marry me? I will, I do. Yeah. <laughs> ha ha, Jacqueline. Hope you guys enjoyed Pirate TV. Oh, remember, books are good.